Hi folks, this is Daniel. I uh, wanted to show you the new gimbal that I got set up on my uh, 3D Robotics X8. Um, it's a DYS three axis Smart 3 gimbal. Uh, the third axis is obviously your rotation. Um, unlike the two axis that will only handle tilt or uh, pitch. So I've got it configured right now to the best of my ability. The, the base cam controller that comes with the DYS gimbal has the firmware 2.3 B5, which uh, has an unfortunate bug. You cannot set the yaw min angle for the RC control, which means that it is always its default of negative 45. You can set the positive, the max angle, but if you do that, then the camera will be skewed because it would go farther to one direction to the other. So right now it's got a 45 degree. Um, I'm using the lever controls on my uh, DX18. So we can go from side to side and then the right lever right here will give me uh, 65 minimum negative degrees of pitch or 100 degrees positive uh, max pitch. So we can look directly underneath us or we can look up a bit. And um, I don't have the, the um, uh, roll channel configured right now because I don't need to control yaw. I'm fine to let the uh, the gimbal take care of that. Speaking of which, obviously the big thing with the gimbal being three-dimensional is that it will stay focusing the camera on whatever, no matter what angle it's at. I have follow, uh, follow yaw configured, so if the, the thing rotates, it will slowly catch up with it. rather than locking in in one spot where if you turned the, the without the follow yaw, if you turned the, the multicopter around, the camera would be still facing this way, which can works great up to a point, but then the cables get tangled. Um, one thing that I'm using from my older Terret system is this little HDMI um, video cable that because the cable is not very long, I have it just going straight up into the video transmitter so that it has the most uh, freedom of range that I can get. But let's uh, go ahead and show the um, the head tracking because that's the exciting part. So we're going to take our cable that I have uh, spliced up. This is a mono audio plug on one end, which is what the Spectrum controllers use. The uh, tip of it is the signal, and the back end of the plug is the ground. And this is the head of the uh, Sky Zone to JR cable. Um, the JR cable is a stereo audio plug, which had an alternate pinout that it did not work with the uh, with the Spectrum. So I cut the the cable off there and uh, soldered it together with some help from my friendly local hobby store. And we're going to plug this into the trainer port. Give me just a moment. Yeah, let me. Uh... And then on the other end, we're going to grab the goggles and we're going to plug the cable into them right here. Sorry, I don't have a cameraman to uh, take a picture of this, so you got to deal with my wonky camera angles. And lastly, we're just going to grab our power cord and power these cables on. So right here. And they are going to beep. And they will start showing. I know I'm not going to be able to get a good picture of it, but... Uh, they are showing my lap. How lovely. Sorry. Um, they're showing what the camera is showing. So right now I'm not in slave mode, trainer mode. So it is not listening to any input. But if I come over here and I flip this switch up, it will put it in trainer mode. 
and the camera starts going wild. Now the uh, the goggles have this track button right where my thumb is that will recenter based on the orientation of the goggles. So you you put them on, you hit the track button, that's your zero position. And then if you look down, it looks down. If you look up, it looks up. If you turn to the left or to the right, and basically you can just uh, go to town with it. If it gets out of sync, you tap the, uh, the sync button again, or the head tracking track button, and you're back to your, your neutral position. So it's a lot of fun. I am taking it out this weekend to get uh, a person to um, video shoot while I am flying, and we'll see how that goes. I would love to get a solution to the negative 45 uh, bug in 2.3 B5 because I've heard that upgrading to 2.4 is not ideal for rotor for multi uh, rotor uh, mounts. Uh, apparently, it's very jittery compared to the 2.3 series. So, hope you guys like this. Thank you very much.